You know, there's something about a game where you can literally destroy everything that makes you feel very satisfied. I'll tell you what, this game is so smooth and so beautiful, it doesn't really get too much better than this. This is a battle tank, and that is a building and that's gonna fall down so let's watch this turret shall we look at it spin oh yeah i'm assuming e fires it but what does r and t do let's see t <gasps> look at the gun it's <laughs> Well, I don't know why you need that, but that's amazing. Fire when ready, Commander. Now, before we get into today's video, the guy that's inside this machine would like you to subscribe. Because only like 12% of you guys who watch my channel are subscribed, so hit that subscribe button. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Boom! It is a very enjoyable thing to watch these buildings get destroyed in this game. Look at that! That is amazingly cool. Boom! Another one! Yeah, destroy it totally. Uh, I think the main battle tank here is quite successful at what it's designed to do. Let's try this again, shall we? And... Uh, oh, that was a good shot. Down it goes. Goodbye, building thing. It was nice to know you. Here's a machine called the Doomsday Device. It kind of starts in this position where the arms are down, and then you're able to drive it up close to something. Now, here's the thing with this device. You want to have the legs engaged because if you don't, things get a little crazy all of a sudden. So we'll go ahead and put the legs up, and then we'll zoom out. Now, at first you might be like, what does it do? Well, it shoots off big giant cannonballs of doom but then if you hold e it spins around and then if you do this you can see why it's called the doomsday device it literally destroys everything in a matter of seconds <laughs> Oh, whoa, what was happening flying through the air? Well, um, that it was a little bit more intense than I even uh, anticipated, to say the least. Well, I think that that was a massive success. <laughs> this wonderful contraption has got some nice counterweights over here. And on the other side, it has this big, gigantic, rocket-propelled hammer with spikes of doom. So let's go ahead and let's bring this thing on up in here to this nice little building real quick. Could you imagine if we had the means that this thing offers? Oh, check it out. The legs do go down. Here we go. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> That was beyond what I anticipated. Let's just say that the legs literally engage so that way you can so that way the hammer can work without uh flipping the thing over. That's amazing. All right, so let's try this again, shall we? We'll go ahead and look at it. Everything extends. Ooh. <laughs> this game is beyond awesome, man. Let's watch it without like actually hitting a building. So when we hit E, everything just extends out. The tracks go up. Wow, look at the tracks fold up, the legs fold down, the hammer extends, everything about this thing. This is beyond anything I originally thought this game could do. You have to imagine the devs are very satisfied with the creations that people are making in this game because they just, you know, when you have a sandbox, people make amazing things. This thing's called the compactor. Now, if you know what a compactor does, you'll have a pretty good idea of what this thing does. If we hit this button, and it like explodes in size so that way we can go ahead and engulf a building so let's just go ahead and drive right up to this one right here and then once we've successfully trapped it in our nice little pit of doom we're gonna go ahead and i think i'll close it with these okay we got that going and then if i hit the button to compact it you can see that it just engulfs and crushes the building down to nothing. We need somewhat of a large building 
and I think that this one will work. Let's just see if we can actually engulf the whole thing, shall we? It looks like we might be pretty close. Come on. Oh, it's so close. Maybe if I open... Nope, that's the wrong button. <laughs> well, it's destroyed already. There we go. We'll extend the doors a little bit. It still doesn't quite fit all the way, which seems kind of amazing. But let's uh, try to close it like that. Close it around it. Get in there. There we go. We're getting in. We're getting in. Get the whole thing squared away and then close it. Oh, it's just a box. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally gone. The building is nothing but rubble now. <laughs> That's amazing, man. This next wonderful machine is just simply dubbed the black hole. Now, I have to imagine I know what this is going to do, but if you've never seen this game before, let me enlighten you to one of the most amazing aspects of this game. And we'll take a look at a couple of these. But if I drive up inside this building, and then if I hit E, you'll see that it causes an insane implosion that just destroys everything with high-powered magnets. Similar to the black hole, but a little bit different, is the shattered rail system. And as you can see, it has this big looking gun thing. But really what it actually is, is a nice giant... Well, let me just go ahead and pummel my way through real fast, get inside if we can. And then if we just hit E, we do the same thing where we can destroy entire buildings. Kind of the big brother to that last one. This is called the pulverizer heavy rail system. It's kind of got something similar going on with the magnets, but it also has a big gigantic saw blades. Wait, actually, let's see. How, how is this working? How do these work? They're not working so far. What if I hit R? Shoots a cannonball? Shoots a cannonball. Okay. Shoots a little explosive ball out. But if I, I wonder if I hit E if it's going to spin. Let's see. Yeah, E makes it spin. So let's get up inside this building real fast. Let's turn it on first of all. Get up inside this building. We can use the like the turret aspect of it to kind of move it side to side and up and down. Yeah. Oh man. It, imagine being the operator for this thing and having your face just like straight up in the insanity of that destruction well this next gargantuan machine is called the super cab launcher and you might be able to tell what it can do but let me just give you a nice demonstration i think that's gonna be too high let's let's aim it down about that this machine is designed so you don't ever have to move you can just stay in one spot and once you're in a position to let it rip you just hit e and there you go you can see that it's a uh, driving its way through the gigantic structure actually can i there's nothing i can do that's it it's all done i mean it's pretty cool but can we get a reload speaking of reloading this thing is called the magnet shotgun and the great thing about this is that it actually does what i was just wanting that other one to do and you can see if i kind of raise this up a little bit <laughs> and then if you look down the barrel here once i hit e you'll see a bunch of shots kind of spawn in and now if i hit r it'll bring them all back to the back and then if I hit, let me just make sure I'm good. If I hit F, it shotguns them out. <laughs> okay, I've got a lot in there. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's like the greatest thing I've seen in a game before. I've got 52 shots in there. 52. And they're all being sucked in right now. Let's go ahead. Can I do like a... Here we go. Maybe this would be the best mode. I just want to get close to it. And I know the stationary won't. Let's just do it like this. This might be better. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I, missed, I missed a whole bunch of them. Okay, here we go. I've got another 50 loaded up. And... Whoa, boom! <laughs> yeah, that worked. 
<laughs> this game is absolutely amazing, man. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know which of the creations you saw was your favorite. This thing clearly is mine, and it is very enjoyable to see. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.